this week's odd box is today's food for thought my name is Jodie Bunting this is a daily live health tip and today we are going to be unboxing this week's odd box for those of you who don't know what an odd box is uh, it's a delivery of wonky vegetables you can have fruit you can have vegetables you can have a mixture of both and you can have small medium and large this is a large vegetable odd box right so what I'm going to do is get this opened up and we will see what's in. Now it's a selection of seasonal vegetables which basically the supermarkets have refused because they are wonky or they've just got too many of them. And the good thing is in the box it does tell you uh, what it is and where it's from um, and that Oh great, I'm, I'm excited already guys. I can see loads of aubergines, loads of beetroot. Right, so let's have a little look what is in here. First of all, my favorite, aubergines. They're from Spain and the reason we've got them is because they have too many of them. So three large aubergines. So what I'll probably do is turn those into crisps and roast them. They've got a lovely texture. Uh, then here we have salad leaves from Italy, Spain and then UK and the reason we've got them is there is too many of them. Yes, mushrooms guys. So these mushrooms are from uh, the UK, Poland or the Netherlands and again the reason it's here it's not because they're wonky it's because they've got too many of them. Um, Oh, I've also got a surprise. We've had to replace something from our rescue list this week. So if there's something in here that's not on that list, that's just a little warning that we do have a surprise in the box. Right, next of all, great, we have a cauliflower. Uh, so for those of you who've been following our vegan week last week, I made some wonderful uh, cauliflower steak. So that's one of my favourite things to make. Uh, next up, oh... I saw one of my friends had these. Colorabi from Spain and there's too many. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with those. The good thing is that there is some recipes here and also on the website. So if you're not sure what to do with your vegetables that you get in your box, there is some suggestions. Uh, I've got another brown paper bag. What could be in here? Oh, lovely. Some Brussels. I haven't seen those for a while. Now let's have a look. Are oh, Brussels on? The oh yes. So they're from Lincolnshire, and again, there's too many of them. This is why they are in the box. Uh, then I also have. Is, is this a Swede or is it a turnip? Let's have a look. Oh, so I think this might be my surprise because there doesn't seem to be. No, they're definitely on the list. So I'm not sure whether that's a Swede or a turnip. I think it's a Swede, but I'll have some lovely mash with that. So that is nice. Uh, and then in the bottom of the box is just potatoes and beetroot. Lots of potatoes, lots of beetroot. Uh, the potatoes are from uh, Suffolk and Lincolnshire. And again, the reason is it's not because they're wonky. It's just because they've got too many of them. And then the final thing is beetroot. So this beetroot is from Bedfordshire. And the reason, again, there's too many. So the only thing that I haven't got that was on the list is onions from Suffolk. Um, and the reason they're in there is because they're too odd and they're too small. But as I said, I haven't received any of those. So my surprise this week was the turnips. And then the other good thing about this list as well, it tells you what you should place in a cool, dry place and what bits you should put in the fridge. So in the fridge, you should put the salad leaves, the kohlrabi, the Brussels sprouts, the mushrooms and the cauliflower. And then in a cool, dry place should be the beetroot, the onions, which we don't have, uh, the potatoes and the aubergine. And I never knew that about aubergines. I actually put, thought you put aubergines in the fridge. Uh, Let's just move that so I can read the comment. You think it's a Swede? Yeah, I think it is definitely a Swede, Kay. I think you're right, yeah. Uh, Tina said she's not opened hers. Oh, Tina, get to it. I love it when you get a surprise in your box. Let us know what's in your box. Um, 
Uh, yes, <laughs> Kay, do you really not like your aubergines, your kohlrabi, your beetroot and your brussels? I'll definitely take those off your hands, Kay. I'll pop round. Um, and thank you very much, guys. Uh, that is my odd box today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, Kay, do you know that you can go onto the website and select three things that you don't like and then they won't put it in again? So, Kay, you definitely need to do that. I will be doing this because I'm not sure what it is. Well, actually, I should taste it first and then I'll probably discontinue it. But, Kay, definitely get on the website and select the three things that you don't want in your future boxes. So that's it from me. Uh, the favourite recipe of the week as well also on this sh sheet is sliced root vegetable bake. Sounds nice, doesn't it? I'll definitely give that a go. And again, there's more information on the uh, things that you've got in your box, including how much uh, of the environment you've saved through having one of these boxes. As always, guys, there is a £10 off link. This large vegetable box cost £15 including delivery therefore if you uh, click on that link you will get £10 off so you get this box for instance for a fiver. Great. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me about the Lidl boxes so at the checkout in Lidl uh, you can get a box similar to this probably about half the size which costs one fifty. Now the only problem with that vegetable those vegetables in that box guys is they're all out of date so you know, if you can eat this much veg in one day, maybe you're having a party, maybe you're having a family over for Sunday dinner, then great. But I would prefer, I prefer to buy in-date vegetables that are obviously going to last you all week instead of overloading on out-of-date veg, uh, which may not have the nutritional value as something that is in-date. So I just wanted to clarify that point. Right, have a great weekend. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Bye for now.